we shall reflect on the life of St. William of Roskilde. St. William was an English priest who was chaplain to King Canute, accompanying the king on one of the voyages with His Majesty made from England to Denmark. The zealous servant of God was so moved with compassion at the sight of the ignorance, idolatry and superstition in which so many of the Danes lived that then and there he decided to stay behind to preach Christ and his gospel. He was later advanced to the Episcopal See of Roskilde in the island of Zealand. Most of the things related to William have reference to his unwearying efforts to reform the behavior of King Swan Estrinson. Swan, having once caused some of his subjects to be put to death, not only without trial, but also within the bounds of a church, was confronted by the saintly William, who true to his name, which meant strong helmet, held out his pastoral staff and forbade him to enter the house of God till his hands were cleansed from the blood he had unjustly spilt. Seeing some of the courtiers agitatedly draw their swords, he presented his neck, saying he was ready to die in defense of the Church of God. As a result, Suan publicly confessed his crime and later gave some land to the Church of Roskilde as a peace offering. William and his troublesome sovereign had great affection for each other, and for some years the saint and the penitent concurred to promote the cause of religion. Upon the death of the king, his body was temporarily buried in the abbey he had founded at Rainstead, till the cathedral of Roskilde was ready for its reception in the very tomb prepared there for William. It is said that while Swain's body was being conveyed from Rainset to Roskilde, St. William came out to meet it and himself died at its approach so that the two friends were born together to burial.